Now, voters are casting their ballots for the over 3,900 district and provincial governor, councillor and education chief posts up for grabs. Our Song Ji Son is standing by at a polling station in Seoul's central Jongno-gu district. So, Ji Son, four hours have passed since the doors opened. Are we seeing a steady, steady stream of voters there now? Mark, good to see you again this morning. Like I mentioned at our 6 a.m. newscast, there are people waiting outside the door to become the first to cast their votes in this year's elections. Now, more and more people are lining up at this hour, but the capital's turnout rate is lower than that of other cities and provinces at 8.4 percent, about one percentage point short of the nation's average as of 9 a.m. Korea time. It's been especially hard to predict how the races will turn out this time around with the adoption of the early voting period and factoring in the impacts of the Sewolho ferry disaster. Here in Seoul, the ratio of those in their 20s and 30s are the highest in the nation at 39.7 percent, slightly outnumbering those in their 50s and older, standing at 39.6 percent. The young vote was also the highest during the early election accounting for nearly 16 percent of the total 11 and a half percent early turnout. In fact, I did notice there were quite a number of senior citizens dropped by to cast their votes, as well as a lot of young voters here. Younger generations are usually considered progressive, while the elderly are more conservative, so voting numbers between these two groups will be one of the deciding factors in whether incumbent Mayor Park won soon of the opposition party will continue at his post or the ruling Senate Party's multi-term lawmaker Chong Mong Jun will beat the odds. I'm Song Jae-san reporting live from Chongnogu District in Seoul.